What's up everybody, this is Joshua Kasser and welcome to another massive tutorial inside of Ableton Live. Today I'm going to show you how to make an arpeggiator template and essentially what it takes to make an arpeggiator inside of Massive. The sound we're going to make is still sounding pretty dope, but it's the, the technique of getting this sound is what's important in this tutorial. But anyway, this is the sound that we're going to be making today. So as you can hear, it's pretty cool and um, it's pretty easy to make. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I have here in this new MIDI channel is just a C3 sustained over the course of a bar. And that's all we really need for an arpeggiator. All the notes are gonna be triggered inside of the LFO stepper inside of Massive, so we don't need to change any of the notes. Obviously you might do that later, but you know, for this bass tutorial, that's, that's just fine. We're also only gonna be using this first oscillator so you can shut all these off. Again, I just shut them off because I don't, I just think it looks better, I guess. We're also gonna be using some bright white noise, so turn that color all the way up. And also we're gonna be using the scream filter here. And I want you to bring this all the way up to the top and this all the way up to the top as well. Okay, and make sure the cutoff's just up just a little bit uh, for now. And right now, if we play that note, that mini clip, it's just gonna be a sustained C3. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and set up the actual arpeggiator step sequence over here in the stepper. We're gonna turn on sync and we're gonna turn it up to one over 16. And we're gonna take that and apply it to the pitch of the first oscillator. So as you can see now, um, the pitch is changing to whatever semitone the number is over here on the step. So that, that number next to the line is how many semitones it's, the pitch is going to move. So you can go up a full octave inside of the stepper here. So we're just going to make a cool pattern. I think it, something like 7 uh, to 3. 10, 4, or back to the bass actually, and then to 10, and then to 7 again, and then down to 2, and then back up to 3. Cool, and we don't we want it for the 16, but we can actually just bring it down so it loops over this eight. I think that's just fine. And the next thing we want to do is pull up the level here so we have a nice even velocity going across the step sequence. But right now there is no kind of definitive notes. It doesn't sound like keys are being pressed very fast. So what we need to do is set up another LFO to change the, uh, the filter of the noise to make it sound like keys are actually being pressed. And the way to do that is just to set up another LFO over here. We're gonna use the, perf the performer. Oops. And we're just gonna use the, the one that comes default. That's pretty cool. We're gonna to go to sync, we're gonna to go to sync it's one over 16, just like before, and take that, apply it to the screen filter and just drag it up. So that's pretty cool. And that's essentially all you need to do to get going with a arpeggiator. Another couple of housekeeping things you could do or kind of icing on the cake is take that and add it over here if you wanted to add a bit of character, like maybe percussive sound to the beginning of each one of those notes. Something like that I think is really nice. And also we could throw a tube on it just to kind of give it a little something. Turn the drive down, we don't want too much. some sync delay just to kind of make it nice and wishy-washy something like this cool and 
turn up the high shelf, turn that frequency all the way down to kind of hollow it out. And I think that sounds pretty good. That's a great start. Now all I have to do is find some cool sounds and get some good lead sounds going. Also, if you have any cool lead sounds that you wanted to turn into an arpeggiator, all you need to do is set up your step sequencer and then just apply that to each one of the oscillators. Let's say you have three oscillators going, just apply that step sequencer to the pitch of each one of those and you'll have yourself a nice arpeggiator for whichever patch that you're happy to be using. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Go download, like, subscribe, comment, boom, you know the drill. It's 2015. See you next time. Peace.